Hey guys, hello and welcome to another Divi Mobile video. My name is Roby and I'll be walking you through how to build your very own Divi Mobile menu using our Divi Mobile plugin. In this video, I'm going to show you something about how to use the general settings section of Divi Mobile by building your own mobile menu. Please check out our documentation site at help.divienginecom and there you'll find a lot more specific information regarding Divi Mobile and it can help you figure some other stuff out. But if you still find yourself stuck, definitely contact our amazing support team and they'll be sure to help you out. All right, without further ado, let's get going. Okay, just a couple of things before we get into the thick of it. Firstly, Divi Mobile saves the menu you build to your active theme. Therefore, if you change your active theme or you change your child theme, you will need to rebuild your menu. Now, the second thing is due to the way that WordPress has been built, there may be times that the live preview mode does not load instantly, so you might not see the result happen in front of your eyes. If you find this happening, please publish and reload the page until you see your work. Now that we've got that covered, let's get into it for real this time. Okay, so to kick things off, I want to start by selecting the style of the menu that I want from this drop down list right here. I'm going to go with style one, which is this hamburger menu situated at the top right of my mobile view. Now just a note here, you can preview all of the menu styles by clicking the button right here, and then that will show you so you can make a choice on which one you would like to choose. Okay, so next up is our mobile header style. For my header, I want to build my own custom header using Divi Mobile, and so I will leave this as Divi Mobile. Now with that style defined, we need to choose the menu that I've created in the WordPress menu section of my website. You can create your own menu if you haven't done so yet by going to Appearance and then Menu. Once on that page, you just hit the Create button, name your menu, and then add the links from your different pages. Okay, so now time for some fun. We get to style the movement of our menu. Now I want mine to come from the outside and have the Divi Engine style applied. And we do that just by selecting this option right here. All right, with that primary menu sorted out, we're gonna move on to the secondary menu. For this, I would like my mobile view of my Divi website to have bottom navigation. So I select a bottom menu that I created previously, similar to the step before, and we're gonna choose the bottom navigation style. I leave the rest as is, publish my settings, and let's take a look at what my menu looks like on the front end of the site. Okay, so now when we preview this, you can see here that when we expand that menu, we've got our different links here, and it's got that cool effect coming into the page. And here on the bottom of the page, we see our different menu links for the bottom navigation style. It's cool stuff, and I can't wait to see what you guys create with this. Okay guys, just that quick note again. If your page is not showing a preview reflecting the changes we just made, definitely go ahead and publish that page again and reload it to make sure that those changes do get reflected. The changes are made, but there's a weird goof with WordPress and the way that it was coded that prevents that live preview from showing every time. Now, it's also possible that you need to preview this from a mobile device or any type of device that's not logged into the backend of your WordPress site. So again, this is just something, one of the quirks with WordPress and not actually something relating to Divi Mobile. But yeah, don't stress out, just publish again and you should be fine. Alrighty folks, and with that, we're done with the general section of Divi Mobile and its various features. Definitely hit up the support site and help the DiviEngine.com for more detailed information and other sections in Divi Mobile. But if you have some more complicated issues, definitely reach out to the support team and they'll be happy to help you out. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll catch you guys in the next video.